Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. This is Luke with Puffingston. And today I want to talk about importing PowerPoint content into Prezi. Now there are really two main options for doing this and I find that people are usually coming from it uh, in one of two perspectives. Either number one, they really just need to get it into Prezi as soon as possible and uh, as, as quickly as possible. And number two, uh, it's more of a long-term project so they're able to spend some time cleaning up and this is an important distinction because it's going to affect the way you do the import so the first way let's say let's say you need to be done as soon as possible well in that case I actually recommend not to use the import function on Prezi uh, so first I want to show you what that looks like so what people normally gravitate to, of course, is on a Prezi canvas, they would go to Insert and then PowerPoint. And they would choose their PowerPoint, and it would begin uh, converting. Now, the problem with this is that the conversion process is not great. And a lot of times, content from Prezi to or PowerPoint to Prezi, uh, the text ends up being resized, the graphics are out of place. And so if you're looking to get something accomplished very quickly, that's not a great option for you. So I'll show you what that looks like, and then I'll talk about really what you can do as an alternative. Okay, so I uploaded my Prezi content, and I want to show you. So this was the original PowerPoint I was working off of. So you can see it's got a little bit of styling to it at the top. Uh, we've got a bunch of images inserted, and uh, the text is generally laid out on the side. So I just actually imported that into Prezi. And now look what these uh, slides look like. Well, a little tricky to see. Uh, that formatting was completely gone. A lot of the text is misaligned. And so this really, if I needed to do something very quickly, I would have to go through and, and really tweak every single one of those slides or frames. And I, I probably just don't have time to do that if I'm in a hurry. So instead of doing that, I'm going to close that import. If I need to get done ASAP, what I'm going to do instead is go to my PowerPoint. I'm just going to save all of these slides as images. So when I go to Save as Type, I would go to JPEG. And then just name them whatever you want. And when you click Save, it'll say just this one. Which slides do you want to export? Choose All Slides and it'll tell you it's done. So now I would now I can actually import all of those images um, into the Prezi and have all my content looking exactly the same way it did on my PowerPoint. So now I just go to insert image and I click a folder and I see that all of my content here those images look exactly like they did in the PowerPoint, so I'm going to drag and hold all of those and click Open. And now Prezi will import all of those as images. So of course I don't have my path yet, so I'm going to hold down the letter P or I'll go to Edit Path. And now I just set the pace that I want these to go at. So um, Obviously this is the first one. You'll see Prezi goes left to right as it lays it out. So this was my first, my second, my third, etc. Now I click done. And now if I click on present, my content looks just like it did when it was on the PowerPoint. Now one note here, you'll notice I was actually showing it on widescreen. So if you did import a full screen or 4 by 3 aspect ratio presentation, you'll want to go to the top right and change the screen ratio to 4 by 3. So now when I go back, instead of seeing white around the edges, I'll see uh, the black sidebars there. So that way I can avoid showing any content outside the screen that I didn't want to show. So again, you can see this looks now exactly like it did in my PowerPoint. And so if you're really in a hurry, this is a great way to go. And um, now you can reorganize the content and do some things spatially with the Prezi, but still have all your content ready to go. Of course, the downfall of this method is that I cannot edit any of these um, slides here. They're all just one image file. I can't change the text. I can't change 
any of the content on the slide. So again, this is method one if you're very much in a hurry. And now I will show you method two where you actually do use some of the importing functions. Okay, so now I want to talk about option two. Uh, this is the import option if you do have some time to tweak and adjust your PowerPoint content once you've uh, imported it. So again, you'll see I just imported this on the right hand column here. So you do that by going to insert and then a PowerPoint and choosing that file. So once it is uploaded, you can look at the previews of each one on the side here. Uh, generally, well, I should say you can actually choose just to import one at a time if you want to. And it should show you a preview. There we go. So you can see what it would look like. Um, but generally, most people are, gonna, people are going to want to import all of them. So you can click on the Insert All button here. Now, Prezi actually does give you some different layouts to choose from on the import process. So you can do circles, this uh, flowing concept here. So you can, you can pick and look at different ones of these. Uh, if you want to keep it simple, you can just choose the grid layout where it'll just align them all in order there. And you've got an option here to add as a path between your slides. So uh, that will already make the slides in order. And if you don't choose that, it'll just import all the content, but you would have to set up the path. So that'll go from slide to slide. So again, you generally want to keep that clicked. So I'll go ahead and click on Insert. And now it'll give me a preview again of, of what this looks like. So I can just drag it and check OK. And now you can see because I had the path option checked, now these are already assigned a path route. So a couple considerations. First, you'll want to close this, and it'll give you a prompt. So just choose to close the import. So you can see now, again, a lot of my text that I had needs to be resized and adjusted. My images generally are in the right spot, but I might need to tweak those as well. So I'm going to zoom out again. delete that. Okay, so a few things you'll want to consider first. Number one, Prezi automatically puts in these frames and depending on the option you chose it'll be either the square or sometimes a circle and again those really don't look the same as what a PowerPoint would have looked like. So what I like to do right away is just go ahead and click on every one of those frames and instead of bracket I'm gonna go to invisible. That way the frames are still there but I don't have to look at that blue lining anymore on the on the side. It's kind of a waste of space and sometimes a little bit distracting. So now when I go to present, uh, I just see it as I would a normal slide on PowerPoint. Um, so I did the first three. So again, the fourth one, you can see kind of the difference there. So that's a nice thing to uh, do. Now, again, depending on your layout, you can tweak these now to sort of presify them. So as you see Prezi with this grid layout they go one through four and then they reset again for five so what happens the problem I don't like of this is when you're on four and then it jumps to five it does a pretty big leap as you can see there so that can be sometimes annoying so instead what I want to do is hold down the shift button select all of these in this column or in their, yes in this row and then I am going to drag them and put them right behind number four. And I'm going to do the same for the bottom row as well. Put these after their corresponding slides. So now, when I go from four to five, I just have a natural transition to go right. And so the whole thing just keeps going right as it would, again, very similar to what a PowerPoint would be. So that's a nice option as well. That way you avoid those major jumps. And you can, of course, do interesting things if you want to have them start going down or upward. You can do all kinds of things with this layout. But at least that way you've avoided having those awkward jumps in between. All right, so I've got all my PowerPoint content in there. So let's say I want to add a Prezi effect. So I'm going to go ahead and add an image here little pond scene that I found. And then I'm going to add a cloud as well. So choose cloud from the photographic section. I'm just going to put that cloud in the sky. 
And actually, both of these, since I imported these, these will be on top. So I'm going to send both of them to back. So I'm going right, to click on the cloud, right-click, and hit Send to Back. I'm going to do the same thing for the image here. Okay, so now my PowerPoint content is on top again. So now I'm going to hold the Shift button and uh, select all my Prezi or my PowerPoint imported content. I'm just going to shrink it and drag it over to my cloud. I'll zoom in here. I'm going to put it in the cloud. So now it is in that cloud and I'm going to add a frame at the very end which will be our bigger VL. So I hold down the F button and now I draw my frame. Perfect. Uh, I want that to be invisible so I'm going to click on this and go to invisible frame. Perfect. I'm going to hit the letter, actually I'll just go to edit path or click the letter P and add that to my ending. Okay, so now I have my big reveal set up. So I'll go to the beginning of the presentation. And again, I didn't take the time yet to resize, but you'll want to make sure, of course, and resize all the text to make sure everything looks good. So now I just click through and uh, I'll zoom ahead here to the end. Go through my content, and now at the very end, I have my big reveal. So again, this is a, a very simple way to take PowerPoint content and uh, add a Prezi effect to it, and kind of Prezify, as I said at the beginning. So there are some options for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, look forward to ones coming in the in the weeks ahead. All right, thank you.